follow Lee Westwood's example. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Welcome to program five of a series where a quartet of world golfing stars travel to seven cities and eight magnificent courses around a country where golf continues to boom in popularity. And our gang produced their own behind the scenes travelogue while trying to win the Shui on Land China Golf Challenge. Last time at Jade Island in Beijing, Ian Porter moved back into the reckoning for the birdie. Tournaments is part three. Now though, the Chinese capital is left behind as we jet east to the Liaoning Peninsula and the fifth venue of this unique event. Just arrived in Dalian, getting off our lovely private jet as usual. Thank you, Thank you Dorothy. Thank you, Fill in the game, as per usual. What a lovely plane. AIP. Oh, this way, yeah. Nice greeting in Dalian. Lee with his floors. Lee with my floors. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice greeting. And a nice place. This is Dalian, home of the World Economic Forum in September this year, home to six million people. Close to the Yellow Sea, Dalian is twinned with Glasgow, the largest city in Scotland, a country that's recognised as the home of golf. From the windmill, it might well be in Holland, but in fact, this is quintessential China and a hub for tourism. As usual, the reception at the airport was outstanding. And the mode of ground transport to the hotel was, for want of a better word, entertaining. This time, hummers were the players' wheels, and the spacious back seat gave Rory McElroy's caddy the chance to have a subtle dig at his boss. How's JP feeling? I'm feeling very good. I'm very looking forward to tomorrow the golf three uh, three holes tomorrow because we need to get the front nine over fast. <laughs> and then once yes, we start, JP, we're not playing so well. And then we start the back nine charge. You know, we've given them all a nice lead. First hole this morning for you is good. Yeah, Don't worry, you can't reach the bunker. You hit it bunker. left of the bunker, thankfully. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is this is this this, this is what I have to put up with. And this is, I mean, imagine every week on tour getting clubs like that. It's not great. No one have only won three tournaments. <laughs> you, uh, did, you did win the US Open. I did. That is very true. There's the boys in the other Hummer pulled up alongside us. Meow! <laughs> Playing with Ian Poulter is, has been a lifelong dream of mine. <laughs> He's my hero. Don't readjust your sets. Lee Westwood's not suddenly become a member of Coulter's fan club. He's trying to teach Liang Wen Chong good old British sarcasm. Liang was a quick learner. So, so I said, right, I'm going to ask three questions. For the third question, he has to say yes. To play with Ian Poulter has always been a dream of mine. He's, he's my hero. How do I have that? You, you have to say yes. Okay. Yes, playing with Ian Poulter is, has been a lifelong dream of mine. <laughs> he's my hero. And he goes, oh, yeah, right, cut. Cool. Yeah, that's me. It's, it's Lise. Stitch me up completely. Yeah. <laughs> one upmanship from Liang, and in the Shui on Land China Gold Challenge, he's on top. One clear of Poulter with Westwood three off the pace, and McElroy eight shots adrift. Now lying ahead, three holes at the stunning Red Flag Valley Golf Club. The first, a 546-yard par five on the Unicorn course. It's actually uh, pretty much a carbon copy of one of the holes at Mission Hills that we played in the World Cup. So, par five, big elevation. Um, Got to take it across the corner. You can't see the third bunker from the tee shot. So, picking a you know a confident line off the tee and uh, you know, sticking to that is key. John Hawksworth, what a hole to start the day. Yeah, it's a beauty downhill, swings a lot round to the right, bunkers down the left, trouble down the right, you can really chew it off down the right hand side. But if you don't, 
It can be caught out with the traps up the left. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Bunker. 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 Yeah. Bunker. 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 Yeah. Bunker. Maybe more right, better. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good line myself. I, I, I would have taken that. <laughs> so would I. It's a little misty today, John, but the scenery around here is absolutely breathtaking. Oh, yeah, it's incredible. You get out onto the golf course and have a look round. Is it going to be further right? It's going to touch left. Hang on. Oh, that's pretty good. Down. Only, only, oh, what miss? <laughs> really perfect. <laughs> Good job I towed it. Very perfect, says Liang. Now Westwood, he knows he can chew more off down the right hand side. It's hard to hit it over the trees because it's a blind tee shot where it lands. Oh. <laughs> now there's one way to avoid those bunkers, John. Fly the ball over them. Well, I don't think he can do that, but he can chew a lot off on the right. Does he, if he can thump it? Oh yes, what a swing. We're going to hear bunker again. There was a bit of pressure on that tee shot for me. I was like, I don't want to lose this. I want another double and triple. The audacity of you. You've almost got to really pick a spot in the trees on the right hand side that we're playing over and, uh, and just commit to that and sort of ignore the rest of it. But, uh, I thought I did a good one there. <laughs> now, this is a tough shot. It's lying okay. This is a small green downhill, 240 to the pin. It's a little bit further round to the left. The tree's eating. And there's a bank on the right that will throw it away. Good contact. Wow, what a shot from the Yang. Maybe on. Three iron for Westwood. This is a difficult shot with a long iron. He's caught it perfect. Well, bunkers aren't a hazard, really, are they, to these two guys? So how exactly did he play that? The balance factor there in that shot, is there anything different in a normal shot? Do you have to keep the lower half slightly quieter? Yeah, yeah, I try and keep my legs slightly uh, quieter. I do that by pushing my knees out to sort of make, make more of a brace position and just try and keep it smooth and maybe the short uh, swing just a little bit shorter on the back swing. Good shot from McElroy, five iron down the hill. Half a club short. I'm a little bit on the down slope as well, so the ball is actually going to come out you know, a little bit low, so I'm just going to have to try and nip it clean, put as much spin on the ball as I possibly can, and you know, I'll, I'll take... Uh, I'll take three feet the other side of the hole. <laughs> well, Poulter just hit his second shot slightly out the heel. This is where he's finished. Ball on a slight down slope. Pitching uphill to a pin he can't see the bottom of. Green will throw the ball left to right, but if he gets this to about eight feet, he'll have made a pretty good job, but this has got to be played so precisely. Watch him accelerate the club head here. Proper shot there. My next move after the shot Ian's had there would, be, would have been to go and pick the rake up. Did you admire that? <laughs> that was very impressive, yeah, because the, uh, the lie was obviously tight, wasn't it? A bit of a down slope, but he's, he's pretty good at those. Remember back to the uh, Ryder Cup on the last hole at uh, Valhalla, he played a one similar to that, got them down for half a point, I think, or something like that. Westwood's memory 
is impeccable. The last hole at Valhalla, par five, and I remember the shot just as clearly as Lee does. This is very quick down the hill for Liang, steady. Green's perfect here at Red Flag Valley. And of course, John, the arrival of the players here today coincides with the grand opening of the golf club. Yes, the scenery is incredible. You get a chance to come play this golf course, just take a wander around in the buggy. You won't have seen anything like it anywhere chance. before. Chance! Chance! Oh! <laughs> Oh, you're killing me. Hang on, let me have another look, cos <laughs> for one minute that looked like missing. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that Lee Westwood on the greens in this tournament so far is not having the best of fortune. Great effort. Three and a half. Yeah, McElroy, poor first putt. This is fast downhill. Not a lot of burrow. Six no. over par, and he's... Still six over. Comfortably last. And when you've made as many mistakes as he has on this trip around China, the last thing you can afford to do is to three putt. And this man's renowned for his putting. Let's see the line of his stroke. For his birdie. And a little bit wafty, wasn't it? Oh, two guys finding the green, three putting. Poulter nowhere near it, but this is what he's best at. And he's tied. An unlikely birdie, well deserved. Westwood remains to off the pace, now being jointly set by Liang, bogey free for the front nine, and Coulter, the beneficiary of that passy up and down. How much time would you put into, say, as I say, the short game, 100 yards and in? I would say it's 50-50. I, I reckon you, you go through the bag and you, you hit everything from wedge up to driver 50% um, of the time, but then the rest of the time is your scoring chances. So therefore, from 115 yards and in is where you should be if you're laying up on a par five, it's where you should be scoring. So from sand iron back in, um, if it's a bunker shot, if it's a 40 yard pitch shot, whatever it may be, uh, you have to be very, very good from that distance. Otherwise, um, you know, guys are gonna beat you. More from our guys and from Red Flag Valley after the break.